Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Certified Football. Six box, half of an inner case. Pick your team number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half of this inner already in the store. So we can probably run this back tonight if you want to. First of all, big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Really appreciate it. Pick your team seven on the 10th of September. I feel like this month is flying by already. Trey with the Pats. Last spot mojo. And now this master case of certified. Certified, right? Yeah. Master case. This is our last uh, master case of certified, ladies and gentlemen. So we are almost. It's, it's almost over. This run, on, run of certified is almost over. Oh, this is the inner case right here. Oh, so that's the second inner case. Did we? I guess we didn't mark that, but anyway, that's our last certified. So we'll get six boxes out of here. All right. I'm just going to stack these other boxes right on top of each other to make six, two columns of six. So you can see one, two, three, and four, five, six right up there. And we'll roll that die right there. So one, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll save this for break number eight. So eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight right there. So you all know it's from the same inner case. Oh, thank you. Good timing. Oh, we'll have a little help from Nick too, so we'll be able to breeze through this break. This break's short already, but we'll, we'll be even faster, boys and girls. All right, I'll get the first Since one you started. Have my camera up there. Yeah, the Nick cam. There he is. There's his hands right there. So helping us along. Good luck, everybody. And once again, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half is in the store, and that's it. No more certified, right? We've got so many new releases coming up. Our last certified. Our last certified. Maybe in a slower week, we may dip back into certified. These are always, or maybe we, we'll, we'll get like a case for mixers or something like that. But yeah, we had a good run on that certified, ladies and gentlemen. Spectra Football is our next major football release dropping this Friday. Pre-order now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. No checklist yet, but it's pretty much the same at this point. We've had enough 2019 yeah, releases I mean, where... The autographs, I know I saw Tom Brady is, has a ton of autos in it. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, the NFL Bookie Premier guys are going to be there. Right. I, so. I noticed the Jaguars got swooped up very quickly. Yes. Okay. They did. Someone, someone, I think it was... I forget who it was. Bill, maybe? Someone was saying, like, hey... Like you should like raise the price on the Jaguars, and I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, we could, but then we have to lower prices and raise prices all the time. And then it just becomes a nightmare trying to like. There's a points card in here. I'm just gonna put a decoy. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So then it's just like we can't play that game where we're like raising prices and lowering prices every week. I mean, yeah. It would just take up too much time. This guy had a great week last week, yesterday, the other day. All right, we got Travis Kelsey to 450. We got Irv Smith Jr. two color patch and autograph to 499. Um, Vikings, Brian Langley, they were in control all game. He only had 10 passes, bro. Ooh. Kirk Cousins. Only, only threw 10 passes, yeah. so it was just Dalvin Cook just and uh, just Alexander eating. Alexander Madison, rookie. Wow. He had a good game. A yeah, it was like AP. What's going on? It was like, yeah, how do you win with Kirk Cousins? Yeah, you only make the throw 10 times. 10 times? Hey. Got the job done. There's Dexter Lawrence for the 
uh, Giants, that's to 25. And we'll top load all these before these go out and to And that's Paul. why the Eagles are such a good fantasy play for running backs this week is because the Falcons' defense intentionally gives up pass-catching um, to running backs. Oh, there you go. There's, there's your inside fantasy football info, ladies and gentlemen. And Minnesota in general, they have a new offensive coordinator who wants to run the ball. That's why they ran. Certified gamers, Emmanuel Sanders to 299. That looks game used right there. Yeah, game used. That's pretty cool. Problem with the Eagles is they have four running backs. Paul DeYoung, Broncos. That are capable. Ryan says, couldn't have been happier watching my Vikings this weekend. Yeah, they looked good. And, yeah, if you keep, like Nick was saying, if you keep Cousins, you know, if he, if he's not throwing 35 times a game or something, you don't want him throwing 35 times a game. Establish the run. And pound the rock and play the great defense that the Vikings usually do, and that's that's a good formula right there. New generation, rather, Kakeem Butler, AJ, who picked up the Cardinals. Yeah, it's bad for Thielen and Diggs owners, but it's good for the Vikings. And there he is, Dalvin Cook. He might have 450 yards like the next three games. Cowboys look great. Cowboys did look great. Dak, you got to pay Dak. He looked awesome. How much for Dak, AP? Eagles don't play the Cowboys for a while. For some reason, they only schedule it later in the year. Oh, because they're they're well seasoned. Yeah. They'll be in a good groove, no rust. There's Rivers to 450. That's a good that's a good matchup. That'll be fun this year. Meeple Hardman, what a patch! That's out of 299. You get a lot of nice color there with Tyreek Hill out, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to Attila with the Chiefs. Hi, where you kill out. Get Meeple Hardman Jr. on your bench, unless you're like this guy who drafted him. Got Sammy him on the. Watkins. Got he him on. Like, the, he looks on, like rookie Sammy Watkins. I know Sammy Watkins is beasting yeah, out too. Sick. He stays healthy. He might be a top ten receiver this year. That's crazy to think, but I mean, you it's could be a top ten. Pick. You could be a top ten receiver in Andy Reid's yeah. offense with Mahomes throwing to you. Ah, oh, points. Did you see the no look throw that? He tried it, Kelsey, and he just sailed He did another side. one? Yeah, but it, it ended up bad. Uh, just Not getting good. too fancy, Mahomes. Matt Ryan, he's got he's got to improve fast. They stunk. Yeah, they didn't look very good. Immortals, Jim Kelly. Eagles play the Falcons Sunday night. And there's my boy right here, Josh Jacobs, who looked really good for the Raiders. He did an awesome game. Against the front... A, a Broncos front that should have been a little more tougher on the run. Offense line. I thought. Raiders look a lot yeah, they. Now, if they could, if that could happen all season, I'd be happy. They might like have, the Vikings. They don't want to pass. A lot. Might have just gotten a little, a little lucky there. Yeah, Carr was super efficient. Tyrell Williams was good. Awesome. He did. There's Josh Allen. Uh, uh, Jaguars. Josh Allen. Darren Waller got. And there's Andy targets. Isabella. I was telling. I was telling you. I was. I was like, you need a. You need a tight end on your team. I was like. But I got Austin Hooper who's okay. Now I'm in a pickle because Mark Andrews, my tight end, had a he had a decent yards game. Yeah, he did actually. So it's like, what do I do? And now T.J. Hawkinson is in our waiver. So how much fab do you spend on him? It's crazy. I don't know. He looks like Baby Gronk. Whoa! He looks awesome. He destroyed the the Cardinals. He looks really good. And yeah, he wasn't drafted in our league. I, can't, I actually am surprised about that. I thought with how bad the tight end position is. There's another Hakeem Butler for AJ. Three color patch and autograph to four ninety nine. Let's see if we can find the guy that throws the ball to him. Nice, Arthur. You had Mahomes, Watkins, wow. Henry, and Gallup. And Evan Ingram for your fantasy this they week. All had huge games. Henry looked um, I have Gallup as my wide receiver three, Arthur, and he put up a solid performance. Oh, yeah, I beat Nick. beat Nick this week. Even with Gurley scoring like one point. Gurley will be fine. Out of four, I <laughs> keep telling myself that. Justice Hill, great patch and autograph. Chad O and the Ravens. I think so, too. Or like late games to close it out. Riley Ridley. Do you need running backs? Oh, good. So you're not you won't be bidding against me for Malcolm Brown. No, I think everyone this week's going for Marquise Brown. 
TJ Hawkinson. I know. I've been in, try, in, in our league Slack, I've been trying to tell people that I'm trying to like up Marquise yeah. Brown's value so I can sneak in and get more. Oh, I'm up in Gardner Minshew. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to have – my whole bench is going to be quarterbacks. <laughs> Steve, te- Steve texted me and was just like – you better spend he's, hundred dollars. He's just like he's like that sob Nick Jaspi is gonna do something where he's gonna try to snag. I'm telling you what, I'm gonna have five quarterbacks. There, there's the Gurley right there. And I'm gonna be the quarterback whisperer. Well, I mean, that's really actually like, not a bad strategy because you have to come to me for trade. Exactly. When, then, when we have a two QB league, so quarterbacks are extremely valuable in our and league, then Mike Offen- especially by weeks. Will Fuller for Josh Panthers. Oh uh, yeah, that's not. Type yeah, get out of here. That's that is a Lars trade. Ed Oliver to twenty five, and Easton Stick. Nice color there. Eleven out of thirty five. Chargers almost blew that game. Jeffrey Punt with the Chargers. Was it Jalen Ramsey that got kicked out of the game, or was Miles Jack? I think got disqualified from the game pretty quickly. There's Garoppolo to ninety nine. I don't think the Niners would have won that game unless Winston gifted in that game with his pick 12. All right, three boxes to go. Your QBs are Mahomes and Lamar. Are you in like a five-team league, Arthur? The superb relic, Mike Williams, to 299. Yeah, you could use a little Diggs, Gallup, Watkins, and Westbrook. That's not bad. But if you're in a smaller league, yeah, you may be able to – a 10-team league. You may be able to to dig up some uh, some more quality there to bolster that wide receiving core. There's Daniel Jones. Got a little action there for the Giants at the end of that game. Paul DeYoung. Deshaun Watson looked good, but that offensive line has to keep him clean. Otherwise, he's, he's going to get pretty beat up by the end of the season. There's Miles Sanders for the Eagles. Rick K. Nice patch, nice autograph to 499. One of the Eagles' many running backs. There you go. But kind of a kind of a potential big name there. There's Dylan Mitchell to 199. And Dylan Mitchell autograph. 20 out of 25. It's a great one for the Vikings. That's for Brian Langley. Well, I think Watkins might be all right, AP, because Tyree Kill went down. So, there's Deshaun Watson again. So, you got to think that Sammy Watkins will get a lot of, will continue to get looks along with, um, well, Michael Hardman, the rookie, might continue to get looks. More, more Kelsey, I guess. But yeah, Sammy Watkins should get some good looks. Edwards and Gallup play like a high end wide receiver too this year, 100%. I hope so. He's my wide receiver three. I got um, Julio Jones, which I kept from the season before. Drafted Tyrell Williams, Raiders bias, and then had got picked up uh, picked up Gallup. He looked pretty good in the preseason. Him and Dak Prescott seemed to be connecting nicely. And Amari Cooper on the other side. There's Will Greer, Don Rabb with the Panthers. Weird game for the Panthers, I feel like. But I I think some of the announcers were commenting that Cam Newton throwing motion seemed to be a lot nicer. Just had to knock maybe a little rust off. We got, look at that, Andre Risen, Chiefs edition. Seven out of 65. Going to Attila and the Chiefs. Nice mirror signature. That's pretty cool.
And two out of five, raise the banner, Rob Gronkowski. He'll be back in week 10. <laughs> so it'll be Gronk, Julian Edelman, Josh Gordon, Antonio Brown. Two out of five. Nice. Patriots, Trey, Last Spot Mojo, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Dan Fouts to three ninety nine, and we got Damian Harris, new generation relic, to two ninety nine. Another Patriot for Trey. Actually, I did not see Cam Newton's sartorial choice in the post-game conference. What, what was he wearing? A good hat, maybe? I like his hat choices. Miles Boykin, new generation relic, six out of 10. Nice low number there for Chad O and the Ravens. Purple Birds. Ed Reed Immortals to 199. And Josh Allen for the Bills. We got Joe Mixon to 75. I think he may be questionable this upcoming week, right? There is Terry Beckner Jr. New Generation Bryce Love. That's for Addison and the Redskins. LaShawn McCoy to 450. It's just, did he play? Uh, Gilo, how did LaShawn McCoy, I don't know if I noticed him. Did he play on a, <laughs> with the Chiefs? He's with the Chiefs now. I feel like him and Andy Reid are just hanging out, just just having a good time. Andy Reid's like, hey, LaShawn, I heard you were free. There's Alexander Madison who had a pretty nice game too. 77 out of 99, good time to get that one. Brian Langley and the Vikings. We got Greedy Williams to 199. The Browns, I'm sure, will bounce back nicely. And we've got Darnell Savage Jr. to 149. Packers, Brian Langley. Oh, so LaShawn got a decent amount of snaps and even looked better than Williams with the ball. Interesting. I feel like LaShawn McCoy fills that like sort of Marshawn Lynch kind of role that, that Marshawn had with the Raiders for a couple seasons. Julio Jones to 199, probably even more effective. And Julio Jones to 199, I'm sure the Falcons will bounce back this upcoming week as well. We got 250 points to give away to one person the break. If we happen to pull more, we would have randomized it as one lot. But just one 250 right now. Let's go to get a blank list there. AJ down to Addison. It's just a matter of him not knowing the playbook yet. No, I don't believe that, Gilo. Come on. Did they, Andy Reid change, change the language of the plays? LaShawn knows. LaShawn knows. They're buddies. Let's roll it and randomize it. Name on top after six and four. Ten times, we'll get the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's going to be Rick K. You'll get the 250 points, a little consolation for you. Thanks, everybody. Pick your team eight. This was Pick your team seven. Pick your team eight is in the store. Check it out. We can knock that out tonight. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.